What's up guys, Ruben here with your daily tech needs and today I've got a little tutorial for you. I haven't done a tutorial in a while so I've decided to do one. Um, this is going to be how to port AOSP, um, AOKP or CyanogenMod9 ROMs to your Android device. Um, so basically you're going to need uh, your ROM that you're going to port to or a device that you're going to port to it has to have a CM9 or CyanogenMod9 ROM already functioning. Um, as you can see, I have one here for the Galaxy S Wi-Fi 5.0, um, and it's also important to know that any bugs that are available for Signage and Mod 9 on your device are going to transfer over to that port. Um, so I also have another ROM here, which I want to port. This is a Galaxy S2 ROM. Um, it's best to keep to the same uh, manufacturer, like Samsung or, or, uh, or LG, etc., when porting ROMs. Um, both of these devices are going to be Samsung. Um, this doesn't work for HTC, for HTC I'll put the link in the description, you do have to do a bit more. But uh, I'm going to show you how easy it is basically, and uh, it's as easy as flashing a zip file. Um, so yeah, it's pretty easy. So like I said, we're going to need CyanogenMod9 for your device that you're going to port to, and then you're going to need your port ROM, which is the ROM that you would like to port. So for convenience sake, I'm just going to rename these um, to port ROM, that's the one I want to port. And we're going to call our CyanogenMod9 base because that's the file that works on our device at current. Uh, so, just another note I'm using Ubuntu today, uh, 10.1, I think, or something like that. Um, you can use it with Windows 7. Um, but, you know, it's for me, if you're serious about ROM development, you want to use Ubuntu or Linux, Linux, Linux based system because it's a lot easier. Uh, so what you're going to do is you want to open your base, uh, just use 7-zip or if you're on Windows or something like that to open it up and you're also going to want to open your port. Now as you can see this is just the general root of uh, of each ROM um, and in our base, our CyanogenMod9 base, what you're going to want to do is you want to highlight certain um, certain events, certain folders here, sorry, you're going to want to highlight fonts, framework, media and app and you're just going to delete them, just press the delete key and delete it. There we go. And then you want to get your ROM that you want to port over, and you want to copy uh, the same folders. So as you can see here, I'm copying them across. Just like that, copy. Um, and <laughs> that, believe it or not, that's basically it. Um, put in this base ROM, uh, the old CyanogenMod9. It's no longer um, CyanogenMod9 ROM now, it's whatever you've decided to port across. Uh, so as you can see, we've now got all these apps and the framework, um, APK, and the system UI. So the, that's it. This is um, this is going to be the ROM. You're going to want to get rid of your port. There's no need to have your port anymore. Um, in fact, we'll keep the port a minute. Um, and that's basically it. Just rename your base to whatever you want and flash it through um, through Clockwork Mod, and then you should your new port should be working on your device. Um, if you get boot loops, which if you if you're in any way savvy with Android, you know what a boot loop is. What you're going to want to do is uh, you're going to want to go into yeah you want to go into lib the lib folder on your port on your ROM that you would like to port and you're going to run a want to find lib android underscore runtime dot so uh, and then what you want to get going to do is you just want to delete the that that file from your base the one that we're, we were going to flash um, and then you want to just copy the one from the port into the base. Um, and that that should stop the boot loop problem. Um, I'll enable comments below if you have any questions. Ask me. I'm not. I'm not promising I'll be able to answer them all, but I'll try my best. Um, as I said, I put a link in the description on how to use this. Uh, it's an XDA form, as well as um, HTC. If you want to use a H for it for a HTC device, it won't work if you're doing things like porting uh, framework specific operating systems like uh, Sense. Uh, HTC Sense to a Samsung device, it won't work, you'll get loads of errors and that won't work very well. Uh, so special thanks to ProX user on the XA forums who helped me a lot with all this. And uh, so yeah, that's basically been it guys, how to um, how to uh, port AOSP or any ice cream sandwich ROM to your device. Um, please like this video and don't forget to comment and subscribe. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.